Okay, hello guys, welcome back. We've uh, dropped ourselves back into the Dimcraft server. Uh, we are starting our day off at the Drown Farm, if you remember that, all the way back at the beginning of the season. And uh, yeah, it's still looking pretty fine. Um, I added a beacon so that we get uh, the the strength and the regeneration from the beacon um, because I was, I've been AFKing here for the past, I don't know, three or four nights now um, grinding for Rotten Flesh and I've done pretty well um, not too bad of a score really and we got one trident which is pretty poor considering it's three nights worth of AFKing with an auto clicker but if I'm honest I'm not here for the tridents, I was here for the Rotten Flesh so we've done pretty well with that so let's grab the full one there Let's uh, grab some of that and throw that in there and then grab that one. We'll chuck that back in there for now. Um, so that is actually going to be for trading with the clerics. Uh, that's that's basically what this was for, um, just so that we had an extra something something to, to trade with the clerics and get our emeralds. Um, it was doing really, 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 really well. And then Wits logged in to do what he was doing. And then my rates dropped. So, hey-ho. Um, so, yeah. So, we're starting off over in the Drowned Farm. Today, uh, we're going to finally build our bone shop. Uh, it's been a long time coming. And it's now time that we actually just build the bone shop. Um, I've decided I'm not going to try and build a skull like I was going to. I am actually just going to build a, a skeleton farm. Uh, a skeleton head. Um, because, one it's a lot easier and two uh, I have all the resources to do that and we can go and do that now uh, so I think yeah we're gonna we're gonna just build a, a skeleton skull and I've done it in creative mode to see what it looked like uh, on my creative world and it actually looks really cool so um, let's uh, drop into that time lapse now and we will get into building ourselves another shop
Alrighty, so all built. Looks like a skeleton skull ish. I think I could have done with going up one more block here to make that four there, but it looks alright. I think it, it uh, represents a skeleton quite well. Uh, we've got a uh, a lamp here. Now I started off with uh, a lever. Uh, I thought the lever being on would be perfect and it would just be on. And then I thought, you know what, let's make a daylight sensor and uh, and make it sort of come on at night instead of all the time. Um, I've created a little garden here. I'm just going to plant a few plants here just to break this little bit up because it, it is sort of very yellow here. So I thought I'd put a little garden in there just to make it look a little little more, you know, gardeny. Um, so I've run some concrete just around the outside here just to sort of break it up a little bit so it's not just one big block structure on the top here. Uh, we've chucked some lights in under here just to keep it all lit up. Um, that seems to be doing a pretty good job around here. Uh, I don't know why all these lamps are here though. Let's get rid of these ones. Um, so yeah, they're, they're doing pretty well. Uh, we'll come and put some more sea lanterns in here, um, as we go along. Um, I don't know if Wits has got anything planned for a future shop here. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's open ready just in case, uh, there is such a need for more shops. So we might as well light it up while we're about and we've got the stuff in the hot bar. Um, but yeah, so... It looks pretty cool. I'm very happy with this. And so inside, uh, we've still got to stock it. Um, I haven't put anything in yet, but we're going to go at the moment with two stacks of blocks um, for one diamond or nine stacks of bone meal for a diamond. So it's pretty cheap, I think. Um, I'm sure Wits will have a whine about it and tell me that I'm too expensive, but you know, I'm getting used to that now. Uh, we've chucked some bushes in the back here. You can't, you can just about see the dirt there. I don't know why I bothered with dirt, but um, kind of adds a little bit of greenery to the room. Um, I've got the cactus in flower pots just to add a little bit of decoration. You've got your obligatory uh, ender chest and some paintings. It looks pretty good. I think uh, this is quite a pretty looking shop. Very, very happy with it. Um, it's very well lit up, so there should be no spawns in here at all, which is quite important really. Uh, we don't want any spawns in here. Although if they do, then let's hope it's a skeleton and we can uh, harvest their bones. Um, but yeah, so Sir so Hulk's Yield Bone Shop is open for business. We'll tell the, the other Dim Crafters that it's available now. All right, on to the next project. Okay, so that's now the rotten flesh all in. We're gonna go with, to start with, uh, four stacks for a diamond because I've had to grind for it and work hard for it. So it's uh, a bit more expensive than I would like it to be, but because I haven't got a mob farm that gives me that automatically, it's, uh, it's a tad more expensive at the moment. But to be honest, we've given them enough to choose from um, to, to, to trade to get emeralds. So I think, you know, there, there's plenty there to go with. If they find that they're too expensive, then don't buy them. So that's that job jobbed. Alrighty, so skeleton bone farm shop thingy majiggy me boo over there is all done completed. Now I noticed that this spot here had been sort of taken over and nobody seems to have claimed it. So I thought, why don't we stick a cheeky little pop-up shop here? One that once the food is gone, because that's what we're gonna sell, we're gonna sell some foods. Now which one? This one. Carrots. We're going to make them golden carrots. Now, that's about half of our um, gold stock. So I'm going to make as many golden carrots as I can out of that uh, and sell golden carrots in here as well. And once it's all gone, it's gone and the shop can be taken down. So I thought, why don't we, as we're on a roll, build ourselves a second shop today? Uh, let's get rid of our stuff out of the hot bar. Uh, so we want some stairs and we want some slabs and some of them slabs and we want some of them for the thingies and some of them for the other thingies. Alrighty, so let's uh, let's get let's get going. So one, two, three and four. And then we want 
One, two, three, four, and then one there. See, you didn't think you were going to be counting with Sir Hulk today, did you? Eh? No. Nor did I, to be fair. So, in like this, and then we'll have a spruce slab, and we'll run them around here, actually. Bummer. And one of them. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, I think we're going to need to bring that around one more just to make it evenly stevenly, like so. Oh, 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 it's all gone wrong at the moment. There we go. Right, so how did I do this earlier? And it was like so, I think. Like that. So I've been playing around in creative to see what sort of shop style I wanted to go with and I decided just to go for the the, uh, the little market stall type build. So there's nothing hugely special about it. Um, so it just kind of serves a purpose really. It's not, not a great deal about what it is um it's not going to be sticking around forever so it just does a trick really uh, that one. okay so there's the basic outlines of our shop all right so now what we need to do now is chuck some slabs in for the floor like so Lovely. And then we chuck one there, one there, and then we we'll come around here and put the axe back in the main hand and get one of them. Pop. And rinse and repeat with the second one. Pop, like so. And we'll fill them back in. Like so. Okay, so that there is going to be our, oh, not up there, that ain't going to do Bertie, that ain't going to do at all, there we go, right, so there's our table, um, that's what our little chests here are going to sit onto, so one, two, buckle my shoe, three, okay, and then we'll get some item frame holders, uh, one, two, three, four, thank you very much, looking lovely, I needed Two more of those. Darn it! And then if by magic, we have them. So, let's get some torches. And one there. And one there. And then one of them. And one of them. Okay, so then we want some anvils. One and two look at that oh fell off the side look at that hey eh? yeah mm -hmm. beautiful right so what we want now is our ender chest which is already in our inventory so we'll stick that like so and then we'll get rid of that one and put that one there and end chest. Ta-da! Alright, so rinse. Oh, hang on, we didn't bring another. Oh, yes, we did. Let's see. So we'll chuck that one into here. Get rid of that. One, two, one, one. And one. And bing! Okay, so. That is the basic outline of our shop. We just want to grab a couple of them because we're going to stick them under here uh, just to make it sort of look all right. And while we've got that one, we can probably stick that there because that would have annoyed me otherwise. Sweet. Alrighty. So looking pretty, pretty fancy. Pretty fancy. Okay. So let's chuck that one back in there. Let's get some signage. 
Uh, so, welcome to Sir Hulk's pop-up nom nom. Prices are oh, as marked. Yeah, beautiful. Right, so what we need to do is decide on how much we're going to sell these items for. So the golden carrots are going to be expensive to make, so I think a diamond a stack. Yeah, so... Uh, so we need to make some uh, nuggets and then we need to chuck that in there and then do that which gives us our golden carrot and then we're going to do one stack equals one diamond and then plop Okay, so that might pose to be more of a problem it being there like that. So we might have to get some paper and then put them inside the chest as well, just so that it, it highlights how much it is. So let's go with some cooked chicken. Uh, we'll give that away for uh, three stacks equals one diamond, like so. Nice. Right, so we're on a roll. Let's uh, let's find some steak. There we go. So that's going to be three stacks equals one diamond. Like so. And then the good old faithful baked potato. And we're going to do that for five stacks equals one diamond oh diamond Ta -da! okay so that's just some accenting we can do around the back here uh, just to make it look a bit cooler like so have we still got some slabs N no we have not that's a pain because they need to come back over here a bit further. So I'll grab some slabs at another day. So that's it. That's our pop-up shop done. And it looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. It's uh, nothing special, like I said, but it, it does the trick quite well. And let's see if it makes us any money. There we go. So that's our, uh, that's our farms and everything all done, ready for the, the Dim Crafters to go trading in the Villager Trading Hall. Um, we've kind of done the farm thing to death at the moment, I think. We've just been building farm after farm after farm after farm just to feed the uh, the villager trading hall there. And uh, I feel like we've just got into a little bit of a rut with the old uh, with the old building of farms and things. And we've kind of we kind of lost sight of the creativityness. I think of it all the creativityness. Yeah, that's definitely not a word. And yeah, that's going to get pulled up. Um, but. Yeah, we need to we need to get back into to just building instead of instead of building farms, which you know are pretty easy to build. Let's be honest. We need to start focusing on actually um, building something that's creative, something that's you know not going to be functional like a farm would be. So I think I think that that's going we're going to end the the episode today. However, I think the next episode. We're going to start building our own little town, kind of like a uh, a castle with a, a town associated to it, I think. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to build it over here somewhere. Um, let's uh, drop down on this tree here. I think what we'll do is we'll clear out the trees here um, and we will probably flatten this ground a little bit more than it is. And maybe we will build a big castle, all right? And then a wall around the castle with its turrets and its archers, and maybe we'll use the uh, armor stand book uh, to, to to create some archers on the on the walls, and then um, 
we will build like a little little village, like a little shanty town village outside of the wall, where they're growing crops and things, just outside of here, um, and kind of make this our our little towny area. Um, we'll see. I, I'm I'm not hundred percent sure if this is going to be the location, but it is certainly going to be our next project. I think we need to we need to get into something a little bit more creative and and less technical farm building i think that's what we need to do yeah definitely so thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video or indeed enjoy my channel please hit the subscribe and hit the like button on your videos it always helps me and the channel and uh, i will happily see you in the next episode bye